wonderful that people sing the Shana Habab Yerushalayim. It's tremendous that we pray for Jerusalem. But I need people involved in investing in Jerusalem. When people see, feel, walk around, smell, just walk in the alleyways of Jerusalem and see the families and children, they immediately understand what needs to be done. Avram Avinu stood where we are today, looked across and saw Har Hamoria. So when we talk about history, heritage, roots, this is it. Jerusalem is the united city. It's the eternal capital of the Jewish people. And the fact that the world says that we don't belong here is irrelevant. The work of the organization, Ateret Konim, in many ways, is trying to strengthen Jewish roots in the heart of Jerusalem. <laughs> Arafat, he made his famous comment that the only Jews he would allow in his Al-Quds are those who have been here for generations. He was referring to the dead Jews of the Mount of Olives. Well, today he's dead and buried, and we have a Jewish neighborhood on the Mount of Olives. We're about to come into the old Yemenite village, which is on the slopes of the Mount of Olives, east of the city of David. The area has seen its hostilities in the past. I'm not going to pretend that there isn't a certain amount of uh, hatred, violence and aggression by the Arabs against some of the families living here. In fact, to such an extent where there are Molotov cocktails and concrete blocks sometimes thrown every day at the buildings and the families when they drive in and out from their homes here. When we saw this place and we saw eight families living here when we came nine years ago, we said that's the place we want to live in and we want to be part of the mission of Atayat Kohanim, of building up Jerusalem. When you get up in the morning in Kfar Ataymanim, you can never tell when you're going to go out of the house. We have a paper just right behind you on the fridge of all, you see a table with all the hours, what time every family goes out. If you're assigned to seven o'clock and you missed it, you went down at five minutes past seven, that's it, you lost your, you lost your Jeep. And the next one is at 8.40, nine o'clock and a.m. And when you have to go to work, the children here knows if it's seven o'clock downstairs, it's seven o'clock downstairs. And it makes life very, very difficult. This is the Honey House, a single family, the most dedicated, courageous, the devotion of that family, there is nothing like it in the country. It's also the most attacked building probably in the country with Molotov cocktails on a daily basis. The Arabs dump rubbish there and now we actually even have uh, the half of the Beit set is now adjacent to the old Berat Vash. They throw on our jeeps, not stones. They throw Molotovs, cocktail Molotovs. They throw rocks the size of this table. I'm not kidding. We need the peace. We need the peace here. So Just tell your children not to throw molds of cocktails at the Jews living here. They here, don't, here, here. They didn't do anything wrong. This is where? Where the house? This house? Here. This is for our this house. It's for what? our children, for our grandmother, grandfather. Yemenite this Jews house for here. our grandfather. The Arabs live in Ramat Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The Arabs live in Armon Aretiv. Yes. The Arabs living in uh, French Hill. Yes. Next to Jews. Not, not, yes. not very, not, not a lot of no. them. This no, land then, for the Palestinians. No, you know, you and I both know there's never been a Palestinian. They, they will make them angry. They'll, this this is, is not, Harbat not El Yaman. This. A land here, your father knows yeah. this is called Harbat El Yaman. I believe that very soon, Bezrat Hashem, we're praying more Jewish families coming here, more houses. It won't be possible to stay dependent on two jeeps. It just won't be possible. And the state of Israel and the police that we work here very, very close with, and they do their best to help us. We believe that they will have no choice but to do what they have to do in order for me to be able to come in to my home with my car in the middle of Jerusalem, five minutes from the hotel. We 
we are in what is known as the Old Jewish Quarter. And the reason why we call it that is because once upon a time, under the times of the Turks, there was a Jewish majority in this area. There were 19 and a half thousand Jews living in residents of Jerusalem out of 28,000. That's a Jewish majority. The area today known as the Muslim Quarter had 21 synagogues and six yeshivas in the area today known as the Muslim Quarter. We were just walking around, filming the activities of Ateret Konim in certain houses. Just out of the blue, two boys, it seems now, that have got a history of violence, throwing stones and molotov cocktails, even at families and buildings in the old city, came up to me and came up to you and, and threatened us, warning us not to film because this is his city. What right do we have to be here? I'm not going to stand and put up with the fact that an Arab is going to tell me in my own city that I can't film and walk around anywhere in any alleyway. So I rang the police. The police were there within two minutes arrested the two guys that were hiding in some parlour where the kids were. Within minutes though, of course, all Arabs were congating around, but the police had back up. They were arrested. We've got to a situation where we've become like sitting ducks. Our head is still in the shtetl or ghetto. Children are not meant to be playing on rooftop playgrounds. The prophecy spoke that the young and old would walk the streets of Jerusalem, that the young would play in the streets of Jerusalem. We haven't quite reached that level. We cannot afford to rely on promises from any government or hopes and dreams. We have to have facts on the ground. There shouldn't be a situation where a synagogue or a center of Jewish learning, a yeshiva school is being built for millions of dollars overseas, and we've got a synagogue being desecrated in the old Yemenite village, or that there's no synagogue on the Mount of Olives. To think that there are more Arabs ready to sell than Jews ready to buy? To think that we're struggling to have place centers and nurseries? It shouldn't be. Every single Jew should be our partner.